folks back down at the range again. I've got with me today uh, an old brake barrel that I've had for quite some time now. I bought it really cheap, it was about 120 quid, brand new. Uh, originally it was in 177, uh, I couldn't get it to shoot straight. And I looked down the barrel, and the barrel's atrocious. I think they must make the, they must have made these in China. Uh, but uh, needless to say, I bought a new barrel from Chambers, uh, but this time it's in 22. I thought, well, I bought a barrel. It's a bit crunchy and everything when you cock it. So I thought, can you tune a, a cheap rifle? So. I did, did my best for it. I uh, polished all the uh, piston and parts in it. Uh, redid the trigger because that was not very good either. Uh, I got top hat and uh, everything from Tinburn, I think it's called, tuning. That's all Delrin, so uh, it helps cut down the noise and everything. Uh, the spring is wrapped in the piston to help reduce the uh, crunchy coil noise as well. I can't remember, remember if I did that with uh, aluminium uh, tin or uh, tin can or, or milk carton actually, plastic milk carton, but that helps to uh, reduce the sound in there and helps to stop the spring crunching. But, uh, thought I'd bring it down today, I don't really shoot spring as much now, I'm mainly PCP. So I'm going to stick a target out at 20, test a few pellets through it just to see how it's shooting. I've got uh, a Hawk 4x32 HD scope on it, mill dot, nice little scope for the price actually. Uh, as you can see it's in a, it's a th synthetic stock, this one's in a camouflage, but uh, they did come in wood. Uh, they also came in like a synthetic carbon wrap as well. Uh, it's got a recoil pad on, vented recoil pad, it's not adjustable. Safe to catch is in front of the trigger. Uh, it's got a, an actual uh, recoil stop behind the scope as well. But uh, it's not too bad. And this is known as the AGS uh, VMAX. Uh, I'm sure, that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, Webley came out with one, the Webley, Webley uh, VMAX as well. I think it is. But, uh, it's got open sights on it, and they are. Optic, fibre optic, green at the uh, rear and uh, orange at the front, so they stand out well if you're using them uh, with open sights as well. So I'll set my target up at 20, the wind is blowing now, uh, it's blowing towards me slightly to the right, I think. So I'll see if I can group, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I mean, a, a rifle of this quality, it's, it's really low end. I mean, the stuff I've done to it might have improved it a bit, but uh, rifles like this aren't much usable for uh, 30 yards, they're not like your top end uh, air arms, uh, TX is all your wire 97s that, that can shoot just as well as a PCP in the right hands. Uh, so uh, we'll get on with the test.
Right. Target set up at 25 yards. And uh, first uh, pellet we'll be using will be the JSB Jumbo Heavies at 18.13 uh, grains. So you no crunchiness or anything on your pocket. to the right. See where that's gone. Gone in the uh, centre ball on the black. <laughs> All right. I'll just try and keep my hold of got and see what happens. Twelve shots, average uh, nine point eight foot per. Okay, not very good result. <laughs> Whether it's me, the rifle, or the pellet, I don't know. But uh, like I say, I don't shoot spring as much nowadays. 
certainly not a Shane Waitman's wire rack. Does really well with that. Can't do it with this. Uh, right. So next up, I'm going with the GSB uh, Hades. Uh, a bit lighter pellet. See if it likes them any better than these. I think what I'll do, I'll stick a new target up. Which is, <laughs> the spread on that is ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, so that was the jumbo. Didn't like that. Well, maybe it did. It maybe it didn't like me. tend to use uh, insulation tape to keep my tins from falling, falling apart. Right, I'll stick a new target up. Right, looking at the target. Got three in the ball, but that's a wrong ball, it should have been up there. So, uh, based on the main group being around there, just not going up. Right. Just make a note of this one. Just be ladies. We go for the top one. One then. Right, 
Okay, so that's the uh, ladies. Not brewing again, to be honest. <clears throat> right. So the average on that one was 10.2 foot pounds. I have 10.8, a low of 9.8. Spread of one foot pound. Right. So the next one up is the BSA Elites. Weigh 15.43 grains. Do well through uh, all the PCP bars I try. Tightish fit. Go for the bottom black tile. Yeah. Seven. Nine. I think that went up by the other. I'll stick a new target up. Now the wind is pushing them to the right. Let's uh, see how the, uh, the elites do. Hit the target, so it probably won't over. I'll aim for the uh, center spot. Yeah. Definitely won't over. So if they're not consistent in the, in the way they fit, it might affect it. Tight fit, so even though they lay way less than the GSBs, now that's a loose fit. This one, this might be more. Oh, I don't know. Nine. Mm. Since I'm going to put them to the right still. I'm trying to group them.
Oh, that's a really tight fit. Bloody ram with the Garrett here. So that's the elite, not very elite if you ask me. Not through this gun anyway. Uh, so next sort of and the final one will be the BSA still not having much luck with it to be honest. As you can see, uh, but not, not had it out for a while. But uh, probably the best group one I'm getting is about probably about an inch and a half. 25 which is no no good at all really right last target up and I'll, that'll call it Okay, last one up will be the uh, BSA Storm. So if it can take the groups by storm, I doubt it. Well, I'd say the best, the best one on that lot was the uh, the Hades. It was about an inch and a half, I'd say. Come on. There we go. 15.3 grains again. These are more of a pointy pellet compared to the Diablo shape of the Elite. Fits, fits the barrel okay. It's all about finding the right pellet for the rifle. And shooting it as well, being able to shoot it. Right, centre dot again. Two loose, two well, not loose, but two that fit it easy, in, and two that was uh, tight. And this one's another tight one. <coughs> See how this goes.
Okay then. So that's the uh, AGS uh, value match. Whether that's good value, I don't think it is. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Another bad group from the rifle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Up next, one that I know shoots well. And I've got another magazine for it as well now, and that is the uh, the Falcon Prairie BM Light Hunter. So uh, I'm just going to enjoy myself with that now. But yeah, somebody asked about the rifle yesterday. But uh, like I say, to, you've got to be consistent in the way you hold a springer or a gas wrap. Uh, got, certainly got to make sure you follow through on the shots. But uh, at the end of the day, they've still got a better group. So uh, there we go. So then, that's the uh, ATS BMX in 2.2. Thanks for watching.